Hello beautiful Virgos and welcome to your general, not general sorry, your love reading. Today we're going to see what is coming towards you in love. Thank you all so much for your likes, shares, comments and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase any or to make a donation to the channel um, or to become a member to gain access to the saucy readings which I should be posting sometime this week, probably Friday, Freaky Friday, you know, um, all info on that um woo, it's down below in the description box it is so hot guys today it's just so hot it's so hot i don't know why i blew my hair out and straightened it because it's just gonna it just keeps freezing out it's just too much too much i think i'm gonna braid i was thinking of doing my hair in twists or braids but like my natural hair um you know there's so much of it i can you know i can twist this and see what it looks like okay but um so for some of you i feel like you want to do you want to see how something turns out you could be thinking about something i'm also getting that someone really likes your hair um because this is a love reading so or you're attracted to someone because they because of their hair but it's because something is natural you like something natural you like something real okay or you're attracted to someone's ideas someone has like a lot of ideas okay you could be dealing with a, a leo or you could be a virgo leo cusp Okay, so this is for my beautiful, um, I was going to say virgins, for some of you can be celibate, this is for my beautiful Virgo, okay. Okay, get through this reading without sweating out my fucking hair. Okay, so we have the Kundalini, it reads, cosmic quietness, vibrating high and spiritual love, okay. And then we have the spiritual beliefs, which reads culture clash, different perspectives and enlightenment. So I feel like you're going to um, meet someone who's very, very spiritual or you could be dealing with someone who's like that. OK, or this is kind of what you want. You want a spiritual love, someone who you can connect with on a deep level. OK, you know, <coughs> you guys rule the hermetic laws and things like that. So for some of you, you could be researching a lot. And you're talking to someone, you're like, oh my God, did you know about this? And they're like, did you know about that? And you're like, hold on a minute now, hold on a minute now, okay? And you guys are just vibing, okay? Um, or this is what you're looking for. You're just looking for someone who you can connect with on a spiritual level because everybody's very superficial. Now, Virgos, you know, Virgos tend to be very um, well put together or they have beautiful homes. There's something about you that's very beautiful and very... Um, attractive but it's kind of just like but you're a very practical minded person you're a very spiritual person you're a very intel intelligent person and sometimes it is hard to connect sometimes it's hard for you to connect with people um on like a mental level because people focus on the physicality and you're just like you know the aesthetics and you you want to connect with someone's mind okay so i feel like you're looking for someone who can enlighten you now you could meet someone who's from a different place to you or they have a different spiritual belief so they could be opening up your mind to different things or this is you <coughs> okay but let's just see also for some of you you could be experiencing kundalini love so maybe somebody's like connecting with you in the ethers and the dream state okay you also could be dreaming about like making love to someone but like you ain't never seen them before it's like oh what's going on who is this now okay oh we have the sweetest taboo that wanted to come out it's forbid Forbidden love, diversity, and sexuality. So for some of you, you could be same sex, you could be into the same sex, or you may just realize, you know what, I feel like, I feel like that person is fine, fine. Like, you know, you know, you know you see a girl, you're like, oh yeah, she's pretty, but like, you're starting to feel some type of way. So <laughs> maybe you're feeling some type of way. I don't know, maybe you're just discovering, like, you have a different part of you that you want to embrace. For others of you, if that's not you, just like, no, I'm, that's not me, okay. This is just something that you feel like is taboo or... It's like that you're attracted to someone or someone is attracted to you, but there's something about them that <coughs> um, it's like forbidden fruit. Like it's like you're attracted to someone that you're not supposed to be attracted to, or it could be something that they do for work or something that they're into. Someone's into something that is considered taboo or it's just not the norm. Or it's just a bit strange. It's a bit, you know what I mean? So you just kind of think to yourself, hmm, hmm. Now, for some of you, there could be someone that you really liked because you connected with them on a, on a spiritual level, but there's just something weird about this person. I don't know. I feel like there's some type of um, <coughs> weird dynamic here. It's like you like someone or someone likes you, 
but there's a reason as to why you guys can't be together or maybe you are together and it makes other people feel uncomfortable okay so like i said this could be a same sex thing or maybe you're your maybe someone is attracted to you that's the same sex and you don't swing that way you know but there's just something very different about this person we have the cure it says healing strength and weakness and healthy boundaries yeah so i thought like you're you're <coughs> like i said excuse me someone is into something that you're not really into or vice versa so you feel like you have to put up some boundaries or maybe like i said someone is attracted to you this could be like a friend that you just you don't feel that way about them but they feel some type of way about you and you're just like mm, i don't really know about all of that there's just something that just makes you feel some type of way that's just kind of what i'm getting like i don't really know what to kind of make of your your reading here Okay, let's just get into this Virgos because what is going on <laughs> yeah the palm this is my devil card it says toxicity chemicals and pollution so you feel like someone is of the dark arts that's kind of what I want to what I want to say here with the kundalini and the palm that's what the taboo thing is someone is like someone is spiritual but they're into like dark spirituality okay or you feel like someone is toxic so that's why you don't like want to be like you may be attracted to someone or whatever but you just feel like this person is toxic i feel like you just feel like someone's just not good for you it's like listen no nope. or someone is into the dark art somebody could be very occultic yeah we have the braid out it says freedom um results and transformative so this could have been someone that you released yourself from i feel like somebody feels like you are the cure because you're the healing energy you know um you rule health um virgo so and the ancient you're ruled by mercury but technically that's virgo's ancient ruler their present ruler is actually chiron okay so i feel like somebody here is very toxic and they feel like they need your energy to heal them um but you don't want to be around this person because you feel like there's something about them that's just you're just like i can't heal that you know what <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, there's somebody that you try to free yourself from or someone that you feel like you need to put up healthy boundaries because I just feel like someone is just into some things that you're just not into. So you just can't be together or you or this is why you're attracted to someone. Yeah. Purify, release, and purge. We have the rinse. Yeah. You're just... Mm -mm. You're trying to rid yourself of some, of some type of toxic energy. But I feel like you still feel connected with someone. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have the damage. It reads um, discomfort, disappointment, and disconnected. Yeah. Someone, I feel like somebody here is, is sad that they, they are no longer connected to you. They feel like you're the forbidden love. You're like, yeah, the forbidden fruit. Okay, you're the forbidden fruit. Um, I feel like someone wants to be with you. They wish that they could repair this damage. But I feel like you're too pure. Because, yeah, the virgin... Your energy is pure, Virgo, or you have purified yourself, you have released yourself, but someone cannot release you. Someone's thinking, like, how, how can they repair the damage between you guys, basically? But um, I just keep on hearing the damage is done. I feel like someone is very disappointing as well. Like, you know, like, like I said, you could have got to know someone, they're very spiritual, they're very earthy, you're just like, yes, but... There's something about this person that just disappoints you or this person always brings you discomfort. Like I said, somebody is just toxic or they're just into bad things or they have bad habits. <coughs> so I feel like what it is, is you've released yourself from someone, but they want you back and they feel like you're forbidden. Like they can't be with you anymore or this could go the other way around. Okay, let's just see. Let me have one card, please. The Five of Cups. Yeah, it could be done with a Scorpio. I feel like someone is mourning you. They're missing you. Yeah, because I feel like someone's... Like I said, somebody is very toxic. Whatever type of toxicity it is, I don't know. All my right hand is scratching. Okay, maybe somebody um spends a lot of money doing toxic things. Also, money is coming to you. Ching, ching, ching. People are ching, ching, ching. Okay, but someone feels really bad and they feel really, really guilty. 
because I feel like you vibe really high. There's something about your energy that's pure and that's beautiful. And I feel like someone was trying to suck all of that goodness out of you. Somebody was trying to contaminate you because that's what dark energy does. It looks for purified people to contaminate. Okay, and I feel like you escaped someone. Now they're feeling regretful and guilty or they have a lot of remorse. Okay. I just feel like the damage is done and it's beyond repair. Yeah. The Four of Cups could be dealing with the Cancerian. Someone feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Okay, so someone is really in their feelings. I feel like at one point someone rejected you or they ignored you or they ignored your love. Okay, and now you're ignoring this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. <clears throat> now, for others, if, you, if it is the same sex thing, like I said, someone could be attracted to you, but you're not into them in that way. So they feel bad about that. Or you... Um, or maybe you want to leave someone to be with the same sex. Okay, so it could go in many different ways. Yeah, the four of wealth here, the four of pentacles. You're, well, technically this is Capricorn energy, but this could be you also. But I feel like um, you're holding back from someone. You're just, you know, someone could have been a bit of a tight ass as well. Okay, but you're holding back from someone. You don't want to share your love, your attention, your time. I feel like you're focused on your foundation. You're focused on making money. You're focused on yourself and giving into yourself. So, or you're giving into someone else. But someone feels bad because they held back from you or they tried to hold you back in some type of way. Yeah, the fool, you are free. While someone else feels foolish. Okay? Yeah, and then there you are underneath that, the nine of pentacles, the nine of wealth. So I feel like you're independent and you're single and you're focusing on yourself and someone else is really, really guilty. They feel really guilty about whatever they did to you, okay? And you're not showing this person any attention. You're not budging. You're not moving. You're not speaking to someone. But it was because of this person that like, this person caused the damage and they know that, okay? What they want to say is, I adore you. So if somebody adores you, I feel like at one point you adored this person too, but maybe they showed you their true colors and I can't stop thinking about you, yeah. I feel like you're all up in someone's mind because in this five of cups, you know, the two of cups is actually in her hair. So yeah, I was getting something about the hair. So some, you're all up in somebody's psyche, okay? And yet yeah, the same card wanted to come out. I can't stop thinking about you. So with the four of pentacles in this card, it's kind of like someone can't let go of you, but they know that they don't have access to you anymore. And I forgive you is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like somebody wants your forgiveness, um, Virgo. Now you may forgive this person. For some of you, you may decide to heal the damage because we do have the cure at the bottom of the deck with the damage some of you may forgive someone for others of you i feel like you want to be free at least free from this person and the healer yeah because like i said you have healing energy so someone needs access to your energy which is what it really looks like to me what it really looks like to me is someone is toxic as fuck okay and they want you to purify them or they were using you for this or maybe someone realizes that you were the um you know someone also could see that you're healing jealous jealousy and envy yeah but this person's a hater you know so i feel like someone is mad because <coughs> you won't forgive them or because you put up healthy boundaries and you're not like you're not giving someone access to you you're not forgiving someone because this is this is why this person is mean and hateful and spiteful Let me just see how is this person viewing you my beautiful virgos the pin-up girl so they view, view you as someone who's beautiful someone who they would just like to pin up and put up on the wall and admire okay for some of you some of them could have been viewing you like you was just a plaything too okay and then we have the nosy neighbor okay so this person could be spying this could be your neighbor that's also interested in you but you just like mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay you're just not interested in them like that. But someone is, is, is um, with the nosy neighbor, someone is like in your business and they're not supposed to be. Okay. Oh, and then we have family feud that wanted to come out, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, there's like a feud between you and this person. Also, family could have got involved, okay, which 
played a huge part in the connection and then we have silent treatment at the bottom of the deck yeah you're not speaking to someone you've gone cold on someone you've gone silent and i feel like what, what whatever the reason is it was warranted okay i feel like you're free from someone and they're mad about this they're mad that you're free you're healed you look amazing and it is what it is okay so keep doing you virgo okay <laughs> but thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed the reading please don't hesitate to like share comment subscribe bye